Hello everybody and welcome. You have probably heard about the new Roadster model Tesla unveiled last week. It sure is an impressive beast sporting performance numbers that put hypercars like the Bugatti Chiron to shame. 0 to 16 under 2 seconds? I wanna try that. But well, since I don't have 250 grand lying around somewhere, I tried to recreate that performance in Kerbal Space Program using only electric propulsion. Thing is, unlike Tesla, wheeled vehicles are treated more like an afterthought in this game. Anyhow, this here is my first iteration. It's basically just a chassis with wheels, two batteries, rope core for those autonomous driving capabilities. And as you can see, I missed the two second targets by almost a second. Hmm. Well, in order to increase performance, the only thing you can do in Kerbal Space Program is add more wheels for more power. So, how's that turning out? Okay, we made it. Under two seconds. Nice. So, let's make this a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Of course, I don't think I will ever be able to recreate the smooth lines of a, uh, of a Tesla Roadster. This is more like the Kesla Roadster. And here we are trying it out with some passengers. Of course, this is just a two-seater. Never mind the two plus two-seater that the Tesla Roadster is going to be. And here we go. How fast is it? All right, this is not bad, but still not fast enough. So let's try again. Okay, we've removed a few parts and made a few weeks and still not enough. Hmm, well, only one thing to do. Again. Yeah, but first let's try and see. Oh, wow, this thing is draining battery power fast. Look at that indicator on the top right hand screen. Well, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to manage that uh, mileage that Elon Musk promised for his Roadster. I'm happy if this thing manages 600 meters. Again! Let's increase the battery capacity, also add a few uh, things in there for more stability. And then of course wheels, 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 wheels. Lots of wheels for lots of power. Find that low center of gravity of course. And let's try this one out with a lot of wheels as you can see. I didn't uh, bother aligning them yet. So here we go. And oh, well it's not 1.9 seconds but it's really close. But the thing is that uh, the Roadster that Elon uh, promised to deliver in 2020, well, it has a nice uh, chassis around it. It has a nice body. But I think what Tesla Roadster probably cannot manage is 8.2 Gs of lateral acceleration. And maybe not, maybe it's not as equipped to jump like this here. All right, still I need to make some sort of bodywork to actually make this really look like a roadster or something like that. Okay, and a few batteries more just in case that we run out of power and of course some lights. All right, this is it, the Kesla Roadster Mark 1. And let's see how it performs. Uh, we're not there yet, we're still in 3 second territory more or less for the 0 to 60 time. So of course let's add more power, unfortunately this also adds more weight, so yeah, the improvements will be a bit incremental. And whoa, that's close, that's just 5 frames above 2 seconds, so this is just 2.16 seconds to in the for 0 to 60 time, which is okay for a car, I guess. The thing is, I realized I had some aerodynamic issues because of that flaps, and I also wanted to try some kind of toggle mode to increase power at will, like that insane or played mode, how it's called now. So I made some action groups to switch off motors. If I'd like this here is full power. So about two seconds to for the zero to 60 time. And this here is just four wheels drive. 
and well still it manages to jump. Unfortunately due to the aerodynamic forces of those winglets I was pushed down so I tried a new approach. It looks a bit more aggressive but it stays way more stable. And yeah well the performance is about the same but let's see how fast we can go in a straight line without braking. So we already passed the 4.2 seconds to 100 meters per second, uh, per hour of course, and yeah this is our top speed. This is a far cry from the top speed of the Tesla Roadster in real life, but these things, or at least rovers in Coral Space Program are supposed to be slow and methodical science vehicles. Maybe not how I play the game. So yeah, this is with the original body type and we're already seeing that we are way slower due to wrong aerodynamics. So you see, this actually makes a difference, not only in real life, but also in stupid little games like this one. Hey, look at that, we improved our aerodynamics. Okay, this is just for fun. Just firing it up, yeah, <laughs> and seeing how fast we can go without the chassis but keeping the monster of the motor. Anyhow, as you can see, what I did is nothing like the Roadster and how fine it looks. So I still hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you tune in the next time on The Shadow Zone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.